We're at our conservation facility out at Conservation Arc, located at the Australian Reptile Park, uh, and we're breeding some of our frog species here uh, for Aussie Arc. We have three species we're working with primarily, one being the Green and Gold Belfrog. Green and Gold Belfrogs are a strikingly beautiful frog. They're predominantly green, gold, little bit of black. They can have some very beautiful aqua blue striping on the inside of their hind legs as well, which is amazing. So we've been working with them for about two to three years now. We have nine founding animals. We're thrilled and excited here at the facility because we've had such great success. Hundreds of tadpoles right now. Uh, we also have many, many eggs coming through. Uh, so we're gonna have more and more as time goes on. So they predominantly breed during the summer period of the year when it's real warm and normally straight after major weather events. So heavy downpours triggers their breeding. So our frogs and obviously frogs in the wild are extremely in tune with weather. So they can pick up on major weather events, even in the facility. They're in nice, beautiful, big, humid tanks where we'll replicate the rain that happens outside, but they can pick up on that. So the second we get big downpours here on the coast, uh, we normally see a lot of breeding activity in our frogs as well. So our female frogs, they can lay hundreds and hundreds of eggs in one go. So they lay these waxy sacks where all the eggs are then in, and then after about a week or so, that's when the tadpoles will emerge, and we feed them and then they grow. And they grow quite quickly, uh, about four months on average. And then they start to develop rear limbs or hind limbs, and then essentially they'll start to grow their front limbs. Uh, before the tail starts to shrink, they develop their frog face, and then they're obviously gonna metamorphose into a tiny little bell frog. So this species is local to the east coast and they are an endangered species. There's only around 40 or so uh, locations left where these guys occur and they are declining just due to obviously urbanisation and people wanting to live along the coast where these frogs tend to live. So we're trying to work with them and breed them, establish a nice captive insurance population to build the species back up so that we can eventually save this species in the future. If you'd like to support us in our work with endangered frogs here at Aussie Ark, just head to our website at www.aussiearc.org.au.